Evans Prize and O level by Colin Dexter. So children, this is a, a, you can say detective yarn, a detective kinds of story where you people will find a war of bits between the criminal and the jail authorities. So because it's a detective yarn, of course, then the writer Colin Dexter has tried to give a lot of, you know, uh, deceptive, you can say, uh, 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 points where he might sound uh, giving a lot of red herrings. So that the readers don't get the clue to what the answer is. So basically, if I tell you in nutshell, the theme of the this uh, Evans Prize and O level, then it's about uh, basically because the story is about a criminal and the jail authorities. The jail authority, authorities will be uh, putting the whole Oxford prison on high alert. Despite this, the criminal will escape the jail. And the criminal will be able to hoodwink the authorities, not just once, not twice, not thrice, but this is the fourth time when he's able to escape. And afterwards, when he's caught, he's again able to uh, hoodwink the authorities. So this, you know, write up gives us an insight into the matter. Like, uh, if the criminals can be smart, like then the need is that the authorities must be must try to outsmart the criminals. So where the loopholes go? Where happens to be the loopholes which makes the criminals uh, get better off than these authorities? Though the authorities are better equipped. The authorities are also, they also have a huge network. The authorities also got, have got all the, you know, technical support and all technology is there. Even then, where do the, uh, what happens that the criminals are able to hoodwink these authorities? Because this has happened in this play. So this has happened in this very particular Evans Prize and O level. So basically, if we talk about the theme of the play, then it is like, uh, these authorities need to find out or spot the loopholes which give chance to the criminals to get escaped from the prisons. And it happens when once the criminals get escaped from the prison, it gives a, uh, it poses a big question mark on the uh, on the overall administrative system of the country. It poses a great threat to the security of the country at all. So the point is like, uh, what goes wrong with the system? Technologically, scientifically, uh, okay, uh, duty wise, when the things are all right, even then events kinds of criminals get escaped. What actually goes wrong? That needs to be, you know, found out from this play. And uh, I, I won't tell you like what actually, what is one reason for that? You people will try to find that out. What is that one cause? which makes these kinds of criminals uh, get a, get an upper edge over these uh, you know authorities here evans uh, you know he has been able to escape from the prison thrice and he has been again fought no doubt so now uh, the authorities are extra careful so they have put the whole prison oxford prison now this evans is in oxford prison and this Oxford prison is on high alert. So red alert is there in the prison. You cannot expect even a, uh, even a small mosquito to get in or out without the authorities knowing somebody's coming or departure. So no point of uh, any person, maybe especially events, escaping from the prison. Such kind of security is there. Even then, events will escape from the prison. That also from in front of the uh, in front of the eyes of authorities. So what will, what happens? Let's see. Uh, so theme, if I was telling you, like if I have to talk about the theme in a few words and I'll say number one, the authorities must never misunderstand. They must not underestimate the strength, the power, the caliber of these kinds of criminals. Okay. Second thing is, uh, like the prisoners or the advanced kinds of criminals, you know, uh, should they be, because it's a debatable issue, like should they be allowed to appear for exams? Should they be uh, given the chance to 
go for further education because it will be on this very pretext where, where which will uh, which evans will use and will escape so that's an debatable issue like whether the prisoners or the criminals be given the chance to study and appear for exams if yes then it will pose a big you know uh, question mark on the security of these kinds of criminals and if no then ethically it would be wrong okay so let's see like what this story is in nutshell i won't tell you the story in details because i want you people to enjoy the detective yarn as well so throughout the story you'll be getting so many red herrings like uh, uh, you'll be getting so many uh, points where you will feel that that is a clue to the answer but maybe that would not be okay let us let me tell you the story just in a few words i won't go in details about the characters and all just in nutshell in the beginning of the story we will see that evans uh, is there in the oxford prison uh, this evans has asked the governor that he wants to clear an o level german examination o level is a german examination for example you people go for the ielts exams and all okay for foreign language in the similar way he also wants to appear for an o level german examination o level is elementary very basic level of examination in german okay he wants to appear for uh, foundational level of german examination he doesn't know german at all so he wants to appear for o level german examination he requests authorities for this and his request is granted the uh, the chief of the jail uh, oxford prison you know he agrees and he uh, talks to the authorities at the university and the and uh, it, because he has uh, he is you know going to appear for the examination so a uh, tuition is arranged for evans for german paper so he has six months to appear uh, to prepare german and then after six months there would be an examination so then the jail authorities also manage a tuition for him for german language and it is pointed out that if evans would like if evans had been at home uh, if he wanted to clear his german examination then he would have to spend a huge sum of money on tuition because it was very expensive but he was being offered free tuition for because he was a criminal and the authorities were taking the the authorities were bearing all you can say burden of his tuitions so evans was provided a tutor who would come daily to teach him german in the evening for six long months evans was tutored german by that tutor got it so six months are over now the examination time has come so evans exam is scheduled to be held on uh on some particular day at 9:15 am now because the examination is going to be conducted the jail jail authorities have made it possible that the exam is conducted in the prison itself because the jail authorities are very very uh clear that evans is very smart and they did not want to take the risk of sending him out for examination so they have talked to the authorities of examination Uh, and they have convinced him about conducting examination in the jail right now what's the event conduction of german examination in the jail so ivan would, would be appearing for the paper so if one examination is going to be conducted what would be the arrangements which, which would be made the arrangement number 1 number 1 one, one room has to be set as a examination room right one complete room is to be fixed for this purpose and that room has been fixed so that room examination room is uh, fixed for examination and that room is somewhere in the middle of the oxford prison complete and that room is totally you know uh, uh, that room is totally jammed okay jammers you might be understanding from that room uh, no one would be able to talk to this person evans would not be able to get, get any message from outsiders or if, uh, or events would not be able to give message to the outsiders and moreover the total uh, in that very room uh, they have kept a device in that room which would enable the jail authority the boss of the authority who would be sitting in his own room and from there 
he would be able to listen to each and every voice whichever is going on in this examination hall is that clear so so that uh, you know uh, audio uh, device has been kept so so that whatever jiki bans speaks each and every word is overheard by that uh, by the jail authority in his own room right and number 2 from outside the room evans examination room would be you know very closely observed and you can say uh, superintended by the number one inside the examination hall there will be an examiner who will be coming from outside mcleary his name would be so i am talking about the arrangements number one the room would be jammed no connection this room uh, evans would not have any connection with anyone else okay secondly the examiner mr mcleary would be coming from st mary bags church so examiner would be coming and he will be like also checked outside okay he will be thoroughly checked and then outside the room there would be two jail authorities mr jack and stephenson they would be on guard outside the very room and otherwise the whole oxford prison is totally you know jammed like not even a single mosquito can enter or leave the room. Uh, you know prison without all formalities so there is no chance that anyone can come or go without the proper procedure right so evans exam is to be held so the things are all fixed and what happens like the exam starts at 9:15 but the exams gets late by 10 minutes because of some technical problems and all and afterwards in between the examination uh one correction slip will come how will the correction slip come uh, the jail authority uh, in his room will get a call from the examination that there is one correction which is to be passed on to the candidate okay and uh, telephonically the correction slip is passed on to the to the mcleary that is the examiner and the examiner speaks up the correction uh, which is to be made on the question paper okay what correction is to be made like there is some line like a golden and lion and he just tells him like this golden and lions it is to be corrected okay then one word is highlighted right and uh, one more over the uh, this um, from the examination we get the sounds like the 313 3, that is center number or index number so there are some uh, exact figures which are spoken out by the by mcleary or evans because those were either the center number or a text number then one uh, correction slip comes as a golden and lion and all so finally the exam uh, goes on and on and i told you like uh, uh, inside the examination hall what kind of setting was there like evans was made to sit for example with the wall and his uh, uh, examiner mr mcleary he was sitting exactly in front of him okay exactly parallel to him he was sitting to him so that he could keep a watch on him and from outside the room uh, this very evans was closely observed by mr jackson from outside and mr stephen uh, stephenson so two uh, jail authorities two uh, two you can say guards were constantly watching him from outside right so each and every move was being observed by them after every one minute jackson was observing uh, this uh, evans doing the paper but each time whenever he would see after one minute whenever he would see he would find evans putting pen in his uh, lips and writing nothing then that person you know thought like they are overdoing the things uh, so they decided to so that person decided that he would be looking inside after every 2 minutes not after every 1 minute okay then whenever he would look inside this evans would be sitting blank with his pen in, inside his mouth so this way the exam was about to be over and finally there would be a call for uh, mr jackson the one who was observing evans very closely he goes to attend the call and after 5 minutes when he comes back so what was he what was the message given to him at the call he was given the message that he must escort mcleary uh, till outside the gate of the prison and jackson is very happy that he had been given this kind of vip job because of his sincerity and all he is very happy he packs himself 
he comes back by this time the examination was over uh, evans uh, gives his paper and all and then Mc, Mc, this jackson escorts mcleary out of the prison uh, prison and after escorting him out jackson comes back and uh, he is congratulating himself that he did his job very well evans could not even think about escaping so when he comes inside he wants to go to have a cup of coffee but before that he feels like having a look at evans then he opens a uh, room opens a door where evans might have been sitting so he opens a room and finds that the evans was no there it was he was not there rather mcleary was there and mcleary had been uh, hit hard on his head and his head was you know you know bleeding profusely and he was asking for help so it was so the things were very clear that uh, evans had escaped as mcleary and now the person who was in front of them was not evans but it was mcleary got it the point is that uh, jackson had escorted mcleary out on his own that was mcleary and now when he found the person inside it was again mcleary so what they were able to make out like the person whom they had escorted out was evans this is what they make, could make out so of course he might have been evans and mcleary was there whose head was bleeding profusely and evans might have hit him hard on his head but here uh, before uh, uh, jumping to the conclusion that uh, uh, mcleary has been hit hard on his head these jail authorities don't even make out like these people had searched evans evans had no nothing objectionable with him he had nothing no weapon not even a single blade with him then how could he hit mcleary and even mcleary had been searched thoroughly he also had nothing objectionable with him except a few things those things will be read in the text so how could he, how could have mcleary been hurt by evans this thing these people were not able to make out they didn't even think upon these lines and they instantly jumped to the conclusion that evans has run and mcleary is there so mcleary offered to help the chair authorities in finding evans mcleary told the authorities that i know where evans might have gone so these jail authorities they take mcleary injured mcleary outside uh, because they told him like we would drop you at the hospital so they they drop him somewhere at some square at some chowk and from there the authorities went off to search evans and meanwhile afterwards you know okay up till here what has happened that mcleary ha mcleary had already gone whom this jackson had escorted out and then later on the one who was injured mcleary he was also dropped at some square at some newbury square by the jail authorities only okay and afterwards the governor gets a call, uh, the governor uh, is able to make out like uh, he had been hoodwinked that he had been cheated but he says that i'm smart enough to find out like where this evans had gone so he uh, tries to decode the paper and is able to make out that index number and uh, center number and this golden lion are and golden lion is a name of the hotel where he might have run and index number and all they are actually the location points so the governor thinks that he is very smart and is able to uh, reach that golden lion and at the golden lion this evans was caught again go evans was actually there so finally when the authorities when these jail authorities ask evan to sit in the van then evans again is caught and is made to sit in the police van and from there the governor remains outside and he congratulates himself that he has again caught evans and evans is asked to go to the police station go to the oxford prison in the van and the moment evans sits in the van he again uh, you know uh, speaks up that again he is free from the clutches of the police because the people in the van are again his own men they are also not police officials so evans again is able to outwit or hoodwink the governor or the jail authorities and is escaped again that is what the story is in nutshell about but the big twists the the whole you know red herrings all those uh, deceptive points from where the readers would be like uh, we the readers would be hoodwinked from the real you know facts those things are there only that's why it's a detective yarn 
So let's read the story. It's a very lengthy story. I'll be reading out the most important information and some information I'll be asking you people to read on your own. Would that be fine? Would that be fine? Events, prize, and O level. So the factors like the theme is the debatable issue is should criminals in prison be given the opportunity of learning and education? So we can discuss it out after we finish the play. So the dramatis personae are the characters of this play are the secretary of the examination board, the governor of HM prison, Oxford. James Evans, a prisoner, Mr. Jackson, a prison officer, Mr. Stephens, a prison officer, the Reverend S. McLeary, an invigilator, Mr. Carter, detective superintendent, Mr. Bell, detective chief inspector. So these are the characters of the play, of the story. Then all precautions have been taken to see to it that the O-level German examination arranged in the prison for Evans does not provide him with any means of escape. Right? So, German O level examination is to be conducted in the jail, and uh, the authorities have made all precautions. They have made, taken all the uh, precautions so that he does not escape from the jail. So, what kind of person was Evans? We'll find out. What were the precautions taken for the smooth conduct of the examination? These two questions, you will answers you will find out now. It was in early March when the secretary of the examinations board received the call from Oxford prison. So in the month of March, the secretary of examination board received a call from the Oxford prison. So the governor called the secretary of exams in the month of March. It's a slightly unusual request, governor, but I don't see why we should try to help. Just the one fellow you say, so that uh, secretary of the examination is speaking. He says like the uh, governor, it's a very unusual kind of uh, request. Uh, the request, what was the request? Actually, the governor had asked the secretary of the examination to conduct the examination in the jail for events, that is the prisoner. Because the governor did not want to send events out of the jail for security reasons. So he wanted that the secretary of examination should conduct the examination in the jail itself. And the secretary speaking this, that it was unusual request, but he wanted to uh, accept it. Just the one fellow, you say. That's it. That's it. Chap called Evans. Started night classes in O-level German last September. Says he's dead keen to get some sort of academic qualification. So governor now is telling the secretary of the examination, like what kind of, what kind of candidate he is. He says like he's Evans. Uh, he wants to clear all level German examination. <clears throat> uh, is he any good? He was the only one in the class. So you can say he's uh, had individual tuition all the time, really. Would have cost him a packet if he had been outside. What do you mean by this? Would have cost him a packet if he had been outside? So the uh, governor says that yes, uh, he was the only one in the class. He got individual attention. He got individual tuition. So might have been good. And moreover, had he been outside, then he would might have to spend a lot of money on this tuition. Well, let's give him a chance, shall we? That's jolly kind of you. What exactly is the procedure now? Oh, don't worry about that. I'll be sending you all the forms and stuff. What's his name you say, Evans? James Roderick Evans. So what's the name of this uh, criminal? It is James Roderick Evans who is going to appear for the O-level German examination. It sounded rather grand. Uh, it sounded rather grand. Just one thing, Governor. He's not a violent sort of fellow, is he? I don't want to know his criminal record or anything like that, but uh, so the uh, secretary of the examination, you know, he, uh, he agrees that yes, he could conduct the examination in the uh, cell or in the jail but one thing uh, is a little bothersome is he asks 
he just wants to confirm if the criminal if that uh, evans is a violent person or not because if the candidate is going to be violent then uh, uh, the invigilator needs to be of that kind so he says i just hope that he is not violent now what let's see what the authorities say let's see what the jail authorities say about him children this thing is very important so governor says no there is no record of violence quite a pleasant sort of chap they tell me bit of a card really one of the stars at the christmas concert imitations you know the sort of thing mike yarwood stuff no he's just a congenital kleptomaniac that's all so the governor was tempted to add something else but he thought better of it he would look after that particular side of things himself so the governor assured the secretary of examination that the candidate evans was not at all violent rather he was a very pleasant sort of person see what the jail authorities have to talk about the criminal and it's not that i'm saying it's wrong let's discuss it so he says like he's a pleasant sort of person the one who was a, a very good uh, you know well, who was a star at christmas concerts he might have been singing then he he was a good imitator also he did imitations like mighty are good kinds he was but just one problem he has what is that he is a congenital kleptomaniac like he is a born kleptomaniac what is kleptomaniac kleptomaniac is a person uh, kleptomania is a tendency to steal things even unknowingly or unintentionally okay some people steal the things not because they want to steal not because they need to steal but because it is their habit mania is a mental disorder mind it m a n i a mania is a mental disorder any sort of mental disorder is always uh, you know uh, 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 prefixed as mania suffixed as mania so he is a kleptomaniac means he has a tendency to steal the things that is what drawback he has and the governor wanted to add more things about this boy evans but he became quiet he would look uh, he would look after that particular side of things himself so he said like he would talk think of, he would take care of the other things like about his violence and all that those things he would look on his own okay children we'll continue from this very page tomorrow